Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do a morning skincare routine just because I've I've not done one of them. I feel like I've done a nighttime routine but I've done a morning routine. So I thought I'd do that, especially since I've just got back off holiday and my face is feeling it a little bit. When I literally got off the plane, I like appeared with more spots than what I went on with, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, so I thought I would do a morning skincare routine because why not? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so first things first is we're gonna get this little thing, take my glasses off because I was washing my face before I put my contact lenses in. This little thing, I couldn't tell you where it's from. I won it at work when I used to work at Screwfix. I don't wear that now, but I won it as a little prize. I don't know why I just look back then because my camera is literally behind me. But yeah, so I look one of the little prize, so I couldn't tell you where it's from, but it's cute because I love Minnie Mouse. And yeah, we're just gonna get a flannel and I'm just gonna basically put some hot water on my face and rub that in because I did have some cream on last night because ever since I've got off this plane, like the plane from when I went to Spain, I've come out in so many spots and it's so annoying. Like I got off the, I went on the plane with like one spot and I came off with like two extra spots. I don't know whether it was just like the air quality or what, but anywho, we get along with it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get the hot water on and I'm just gonna like wet the flannel and wet my face with the flannel. Just kind of. The way even that much water in the sink, I don't know why it took so long. But yeah. I like to basically wet my face and get all like the sleep out of my eyes and yeah basically just wet my face and I'll go down into my neck as well because yeah anyway we're gonna go in with this CeraVe um, blemish control cleanser I don't have a lot of this left so I don't really need much, I just have like the tiniest bit. Actually, I don't know who's doing that. Can you see? Yeah. And then I just rub it in all over my face. I like proper concentrate on like my nose. And my forehead and my chin because that's the, the places where I get all the main like spots and stuff. Just rub it in like this and down my neck because yeah <laughs> you can't forget your neck and then again get a hot water flannel and get that off When I'm doing this, I have to leave the water running, so I apologise. But yeah, I keep getting in the way of the camera. Just in case you can't notice as well, if I look at the actual camera, you can see the back of me because the camera's looking through the mirror. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, bish bash bosh, that is done. Now I'm going to... I'm gonna just dab my face with a towel to dry that off. I mean, I think I might do a face mask. Let's have a look. Oh, you can see my cupboard. And you can see me again. So this is the, in fact, I'll do it this way. This is the face mask that I'm gonna use if it wants to focus. It's the ESPA, and now it's not going to refocus on my face. There we go. The ESPA Clarifying Mineral Clarifying Clay Mineral Mask, and it deep like it basically it's basically purifying master balance and deep cleanse. I got this uh, as a little present off my mum when we went on a spa day for my thirtieth. Um, this is what they used on my facial, and I really really liked it. So my mum bought it me. 
so it's really nice of her. It's quite pricey to be fair. Uh, I did say that I'd give her the money back and she was like, no, oh yum. So we're just going to put this on all over my face, which hopefully will help with like my pores and my redness. I'm playing. Sad times at this time last week, I was literally in Spain. And tomorrow I'm going back to work. <laughs> Joking. I actually quite I actually like my job, which is a first. But I had such a good time in Spain, I actually really miss it. Really miss it. Speaking of Spain, I do have a vlog going up of it of a day just a day because we were literally just chilling. We didn't really do much. We basically like some bacon and stuff. And was at the pool on the beach all the time. So I did a day in a life video which is going to go on my vlogging channel so subscribe to iSara vlogs if you haven't already because that will be going up so that is the face mask i'm going to let this dry it says i'm pretty sure it says leave it for like 20 minutes yeah 20 minutes but sometimes it dries faster so i don't always leave it for 20 minutes because it dries faster sometimes because i don't really use a thick layer so, yeah. So I'll come back to you in like 20 minutes. <laughs> right, so we are back. Let me just make sure, yeah, it's in focus. And face mask is all nice and dry. So we're gonna wash that off now with a wet flannel again. I'm gonna put hot water on it again because it helps with the pores. So, let you let. We're just going to give it a pat dry again with a towel. Right, next thing is we're going to go in with this CeraVe blemish control gel. This here is going to focus. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a line here, a line here, a line here, a line here, and then dot, dot, dot. And then we're just gonna rub it in. I do it in like circular motions. I always start with like my chin because I like to do it like upwards if that makes sense and then I'll rub it in circles on my forehead make sure I get it all in And then I just wash my hands whilst that soaks in. Do, 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 do. Next step is, I nearly ran out of it, but it's the E45 Dermatitis Cream. And it basically, it's clinically proven to reduce redness and dryness, which is great for this spotty face right now. I use this every single day. In fact, I use all these products apart from face masks because I don't do face masks, masks every single day but today was a face mask day. Anyway, we're just gonna dot it on around the face. We don't even need that much to be fair. Anyway, again, circle motions on my chin and into my neck. And then circle motions, but I kind of, again, focus on the nose, but then I'll bring it up rather than down. And then circular motions on my forehead and down to my nose. And I make sure it goes down my neck too. 
And again, I'll just wash that off my hands whilst that soaks in. Actually, every single morning I wash my hands about 50 million times. Anyway, my final step, again, I'm about to wrap this, is the Body Shop Skin Defense SPF Cream. It's always dead important to use SPF. You can't actually get this anymore, they've discontinued it. So I'm going to be well annoyed when it runs out and I've not got, I'm going to have to find a new one. But again, I'll just dot it on. And again, a little goes a long way. So again, exactly the same, ruined from my chin, down my neck and then rubbing. But again, I'll take it up rather than down. And again, circular motions on the forehead to rub that in and down my nose. And again, wash my hands. Can you know? I, I also think I wash my hands like after everything because germs. I don't want to get like the germs in my face. Yeah, I've just realised something. I didn't put my contact lenses in. I've normally put my contact lenses in before all that. Well, let's hope I don't get anything in my eyes. So I guess we're putting the contact lenses in now. I really hope all this is in focus because I didn't have my contact lenses in, so I didn't know. Anyway, this normally gets done after I wash my face before I start putting all the creams on. This is why, because the solution literally goes onto your face and I don't like that when I've done my creams. can see now <laughs> but yeah that's space we are done take this off and then obviously if I want to put any makeup on or anything after that I'll go in with my what's it called my primer and then I'll put face some on but I have a feeling that my makeup's gonna be too light for my face because I've got a bit of colour in it and normally I'm a pale person but because I've been in the sun i got colours in my face but it's annoying because I've got these so yeah <laughs> so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching also if you enjoy these kind of videos I'm messing about with my hair a lot if you enjoy these kind of videos please please let me know by hitting that thumbs up and if you have any video suggestions, comment that down in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because why not? If you don't, you'll miss videos <laughs> just like this one. So yeah. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.